All right, a Yale University professor said her free online course on the science of living a happy life has seen enrollment spike by about, oh, 3,000% during the pandemic. Joining us on the Coco News Live line, licensed professional counselor, founder of the Brain Performance Center, Lee Richardson. Good to have you back, Lee. Thank you for having me. So what do you make of this, this uh, 3,000% increase in enrollment in the science of living a happy life? Well, I think, you know, it's all about where there's a need, you offer a service, and we do have a need. I mean, everybody tells us, wear your mask, socially distance. They'll tell you everything that you need to do for your physical health, but no one tells you what to do for your mental health. And I think, she, you know, this was an excellent opportunity and a great way to do it, to put it out there. So let's talk about, you know, and you said there, you know, there are a lot of rules these days. A lot of people aren't happy about the rules, but, you know, they say that the rules are in place to keep us all healthy. Um, how can we boost our happiness during this pandemic? Because some people just feel like they're in a dark hole and, and they either just want to go to bed and forget about it or, I don't know, eat too much or drink too much, whatever. That's exactly right. And I think what we have to do is we really have to look within. And it's practicing positive psychology. Research shows that every day, three times more positive things happen than negative. But what do we remember? And that's the brain's fault. What does the brain hold on to? It holds on to the negative. You know, I mean, it's the same brain that we had millions of years ago, but the bandwidth that we require from that brain is so different now. I mean, it used to be you walk out of the cave and eat or be eaten. And today, <laughs> it's, it's just such a different world that we live in. And we've got to learn to calm that brain down and look for the positive. There's, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? And, you know, I think that sometimes we don't want to stop and think about that. We just think, oh, my brain's so busy. I'm in a hurry. I've got to get this done. But we've got to slow it down and really turn to, to ourselves. And I talk about mindfulness all the time. And I've had people say, that's what Buddhist monks do. <laughs> I'm like, well, uh, yes, that's true. But that's a different type of mindfulness. I mean, mindfulness is really Nothing more than staying present in the moment. You know what's so funny is is we do need to stay present in the moment, and positive things do happen every day. But it's so funny, and and you, I think what you're you're kind of saying is, if I get ninety nine emails that say, "Oh, I love the show and it's wonderful and I enjoy it every morning," but I get one email that says, "Oh, you suck." That's the only <laughs> thing I'm going to think about all day long. Absolutely. <laughs> and that's human nature, right? It is. But what? how do you benefit from thinking about that one negative email right. all day long? And you know what more research is showing us? That's impacting our physical health. Mm -hmm. So that can lead to sleep problems, digestive problems, things like that, correct? Absolutely. Wow. All right. So it's just getting into the mindset, right? It's just, it's, it's, it's retraining your brain, correct? Well, it is. And it's opening, I always say, open your heart, open, you know, open your heart to receive the goodness. Because what, as my mom used to say, what goes around comes around. If you're putting that good energy out there, it'll come right back at you. That is a good point. Your mom was wise. Lee Richardson, thank you so much for joining us once again.